Hello, this is Mike Kaufman, the author of the Motor Oil Bible, and I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch part one in this series, the top four reasons not to use synthetic oil. Um, and I do recommend that you not purchase a synthetic oil at least until you see this video series. And uh, that might seem a little bit dramatic, but the uh, the fact of the matter is is that as good as synthetic oil is, there certainly are uh, plenty of situations in which uh, it may not be the best choice for you or for your vehicle. So I hope you'll take the time to watch through this uh, part one and hopefully the other four parts in this series to uh, help you understand just what those situations might be. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I need to do is issue the necessary disclaimer. Unfortunately, it is necessary for me to issue a disclaimer indicating that the information I am providing to you in this video is for entertainment purposes only. By watching the remainder of this video and or putting into practice any of its recommendations, you are releasing me from any and all liability that might result. Although I am a professional in the area of lubrication and filtration, you are advised to research these issues fully before deciding to implement any of my suggestions, and your decision is ultimately your own and releases me of all liability. Uh, now, you know, what I really would like to do with this video series is just kind of sift through the propaganda. Uh, you know, everyone is telling you that you should be using synthetic motor oil in your vehicles and your equipment, uh, and I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't be, why not to use synthetic oil. But let me be clear, um, I'm not going to tell you that synthetic oil is bad or present some conspiracy theory. Uh, I'm simply going to offer some common sense suggestions to help you recognize those situations when paying a premium for a synthetic motor oil doesn't really make a great deal of sense. Now, as I said before, this is uh, a five-part video series, and you're watching uh, the first in that series. Uh, this will be spread out over about a week, um, so uh, probably actually about 10 days, uh, somewhere in there. There's going to be some other videos that I throw in as well. Um, so, you know, register for updates, and uh, I'll be sure to notify you when each part is released. Um, if you're not on the MotorOilBible.com website, uh, please go there to watch this video, and through that site, you will have have opportunity to follow me through uh, Twitter or Facebook or MySpace or uh, even better yet register for uh, the Motor Oil Bible blog and I will let you know uh, when each of the, the uh, other four parts in this video series come out and uh, you can you know come back over to the website and watch the next in the series. So let's get to it already. Um, I assume that um, you may be looking toward uh, synthetic motor oil. Uh, in, in the fact that you're you know, watching this video and on my website kind of indicates that. And uh, you may be looking that direction because uh, synthetics are viewed as a premium product. And uh, you want the best to protect your expensive investments. And the truth of the matter, that makes sense unless you happen to be, uh, you know, or your vehicle doesn't happen to be a good candidate uh, for synthetic oil. And uh, trust me, there are situations where synthetic just really is not the right choice. For instance, older vehicles. Uh, if you happen to own an older vehicle, uh, there may be a few reasons to consider not purchasing uh, and or using synthetic oil, even if it happens to be a better quality product. So, of course, the question then becomes, what exactly is older? Uh, and there really are no hard numbers here, uh, but anything over about 10 years or 125,000 miles, I would consider to be an older vehicle. So, what's with older vehicles? What, you know, what is the reason why you wouldn't want to use synthetics uh, in those vehicles? Uh, well, the, the truth is I can't tell you yet. Uh, you'll have to wait till the next installment in the series just kidding. The next installment is already done. You would have been really ticked off at me if that was all you got. Um, so, uh, you know, let's go ahead and uh, have you move on to the, uh, the next uh, in this series. Uh, you're going to need to check the playlist. So do me a favor. Uh, if you're watching this uh, from the MotorOilBible.com website, um, just uh, look to the right uh, of this video and you'll see a little triangle. Uh, go ahead and click on that triangle and uh, that will pull 
pull up a playlist that will show all of the currently available uh, videos in this series. And it's possible that I may have already released numerous uh, parts of this series or even some of the additional videos that I plan on putting out over this next 10 days. Um, and it's also possible you might have got here right away and you know part one and part two are the only ones available. So go ahead and uh, you know click that little triangle check the playlist. Um, if you happen to be on YouTube, uh, any of the videos that have been released thus far will be available in my account, uh, so you can check them there. Or go ahead and head over to MotorOilBible.com and uh, you can watch them from there. So um, I hope that uh, you will watch my other videos. Uh, and uh, again, if you haven't seen them yet, check them out in the playlist. Any of those that I have uh, at this point made available uh, will be in the playlist or on YouTube and a number of other video sites. Uh, plus, and, and maybe even more importantly, um, if you watch through the other videos, you will find at least one that refers to a way that you uh, can get yourself a free copy of the Motor Oil Bible, which is a 350-page uh, electronic uh, book. It will be available also in paperback format and, and MP3 audio and, and on CD, uh, but that won't happen until the launch, which, um, uh, depending on where you have fallen in this situation, it, we've either already launched or you're in the pre-launch uh, situation here. But uh, you, you do have a way to find out how to get a free copy. I'm going to be giving away a thousand of them uh, once we launch this thing. And uh, I would suggest that uh, that you tell your friends and relatives uh, because uh, in, in the video uh, that you watch that discusses how to get a free copy of this book, uh, you will also discover how telling your friends about this site uh, could significantly increase your chances of getting a free copy. Uh, the, the fact is, is that uh, every individual that you tell uh, about this site uh, and that heads over here uh, may be an opportunity for you to get a copy of the Motor Oil Bible for free because if they happen to be one of the thousand who makes it in the door uh, when I release this because there will be a particular day and time when I open this up and if you happen to be gone or away or something and don't get the notification right away, uh, you know, the more friends and relatives that you tell, one of them is likely to get the notice and make it to the site and get one of those thousand copies before they're gone. And uh, the cool thing is, everybody who gets a free copy has my permission to send that file to one other individual. And uh, obviously, if you sent them to this site, they obviously would be uh, very pleased, I would think, to, to send you the additional free copy. So uh, increase your chances of getting that copy by inviting as many people as possible to uh, MotorOilBible.com and to see these videos. And uh, in order to spread the word, uh, you can either click the little envelope icon uh, on the bottom toolbar of this video, uh, or over at the right, in the right-hand column, you'll see those little button links. And at the very bottom, there's one that says spread the word or something similar to that. Uh, go ahead and uh, hover over that button, and you'll receive numerous ways that you can tell your friends and relatives, either by email or through any of the social networking sites that you may be a part of. Uh, there's, there's many different ways that you can spread the word. I would appreciate it if you would. And again, as, uh, as I explained a moment ago and uh, as one of my previous videos that you can watch explains, uh, every one of those individuals that you send to this site is potentially an extra chance for you to get your hands on a free copy of the book. So uh, thanks a bunch for spreading the word. I uh, hope you'll get the, the word out there and tell lots of people. And I hope that uh, you and at least one of your friends happen to be uh, one of those thousand individuals that gets a free copy of the book. So again, uh, check and see if there's any more parts of this video available right now, either on YouTube or on the MotorOilBible.com website. And uh, if not, uh, then of course if you register to follow me via any of the methods that, uh, that I list uh, on my website, uh, including uh, signing up to to be a member of the blog, then uh, you'll receive notifications whenever the next part in this series comes out, and uh, you'll be able to get over and take a peek. So uh, take care, and have an awesome day.